Hello, welcome to our fitting portion of an OrthoVet training video. I'm going to show you today how to uh, fit a splint and first we're going to prep the sp splint and get it ready for the fitting. The first thing you would like to do is loosen all the straps and just tack them down like, like, like this so they're easy to get a hold of when you put it on the dog. Okay. You also want to take a look at the straps and make sure that the strap pads are in the middle of the splint. You can adjust them after the fact, but it's nice to have them ready before. And this splint looks really good. We're ready to do the fitting. This is our model today. She's being a good dog. And we're going to place this on her front leg. You can do either sitting or laying when you do a fitting for the front limb. Today we're going to do a sitting version. If the dog will go ahead and do that for me. We like to have the animal's limb positioned in a normal position because you're going to slip the splint on. What I normally do is get the dog to kind of relax her shoulder and distract with treats. That works really well. You might have to have somebody help you fit as well. Extra set of hands is always helpful. I'm going to try to do this not to get in front of the camera. You may just slide the foot right in there. There we go, kind of lift the pads, just like that. Begin with the bottom strap first. That way you can secure the animal's foot in there nicely. And you just, there we go, slide that through the buckle and snug the strap down. I always kind of get the strap placed in the middle and snug that down. The bottom strap first is very important. That way it secures the fit of the splint. If the dog is moving around on you, you can go ahead and secure the fit. Then start with the, or go with the next strap, the middle strap. This is, I'm just going to place this strap around the front like this. middle strap and then your top strap. And our dog is being very good today letting us fit this. Okay, we'll cut it for just a moment. Okay, we have our front limb splint on now and I'm going to point out some uh, factors that uh, will show you what a good fit is. The splint extends above the wrist or the carpus. Um, it will hit mid -form, forearm on the dog, which is this splint is appropriate. Notice the toenails are on the splint. They will, some will hang over and that's okay, but you don't want the pads to hang over. This splint is, there we go, fitting correctly the way it should right now. If it isn't, the toenails would hang over May, don't, may not have the, the carpal pad in alignment. If that's the case, take the splint off and try again. Okay, and cut. Okay, we're going to fit a rear limb splint today. Again, we're going to begin with loosening our straps and getting them in position. Making sure our strap pads are in the middle of the strap so they come around and are positioned in the middle of the limb when the straps are tightened. For a rear limb splint, we're gonna, it's usually easiest or the most user friendly if the dog is standing. So we're going to slip this on. Again, we have, uh, it's always helpful to have somebody distracting with treats. We are going to start with the bottom strap. Go through the buckle. and snug the strap down over the top of the paw. That secures your fit. Again, if the dog's moving around, that, that bottom strap is secure. It'll uh, not let the splint slide around. Today we have a very good model for this, so that is not happening. Middle strap, snug it on there, and top strap. Nice and snug. Now I'm going to adjust the strap pad on this particular splint because it is in the way. There we go. We'll bring that around and adjust that. 
I just slid it over a little bit and we just tighten the strap down. Okay, this is how a rear limb splint should fit. Again, toenails are not completely hanging over the edge and the pads of the toes are on the bottom of the splint. The hawk or the heel sits nicely in the relief or the molded area for it and it extends up, oh, I would say two inches below the knee. This allows the dog to sit comfortably and walk around comfortably. Oh, I turned it the wrong way. That's fine. We'll just have her turn around and go that way. Typically, how long does the dog continue to lift their leg up like that? As soon as she stops concentrating on it and gets distracted with something else, she won't lift her leg like that. So that's why I'm kind of working with this. It may not work.